One special feature of the metric system is its ability to convert between solid and liquid measurements. What does this mean? I'd like you to picture in your head an ice cube that is one centimeter wide, one centimeter tall, and one centimeter deep. So the volume of that ice cube would be one centimeter times one centimeter times one centimeter, or one times one times one, one cubic centimeter. Well, if you let that ice cube sit out long enough on a table, it would turn into a puddle. If we were to measure the amount of liquid we have in that puddle, you would see that there's one milliliter of liquid there. In other words, a cubic centimeter and a milliliter are the exact same thing. You can convert back and forth from one to the other. They are interchangeable. So if you had 25 cubic centimeters, you'd have 25 milliliters. They're identical. I'm going to show you a quick little YouTube video to show you that. So they're going to be dropping in these little sugar cubes here. And as you watch them drop in the sugar cubes, you can see that the liquid in the graduated cylinder is going up by one milliliter each time. So each one of those little sugar cubes is one cubic centimeter. And every time they drop one of those guys in, it goes up by one milliliter. So, how do you get back and forth between those units? Well, I'm going to give you a little mnemonic device to help you remember the order of those prefixes. And it's King, Henry, Drinks, Delicious, Chocolate, Milk. And what that actually stands for is kilo, hecto, deca, deca, deci, centi, milli. And then there's this blank in the middle. The blank is where your base unit would go. So depending on if you're measuring length in meters, volume in liters, or mass in grams, you would use that as your hopping point from one unit to the next when you don't have a prefix. So let's try one of these guys. Let's say you had 34 hectometers, H M hecto meters. And we want to go from hectometers to millimeters. So what we're going to do is start on that H and pretend like you're stepping on top of the letter H and we have to take steps to get from the letter H to the letter M. So to do that, I would have to take one, two, three, four, five steps to the right. So that means that in my head, I'm going to slide my decimal point over five spaces. So I need to add in five zeros. Now I'm not going to actually draw in the decimal point because just like we were doing our math problems from before, the number 34 only has two sig figs. So when I convert that into another unit, I don't it, want it to suddenly become more accurate or more precise. So we're just going to leave it with the zeros and no decimal point. So three million 400,000 millimeters is the same thing as 34 hectometers. Let's try another one. 83 centigrams. So we're trying to get from centigrams to DA. Well, it says over here to tell the two Ds apart, decagrams is DA, and then DC, the little guy, is just D. So we're going to deck all grams, the big ones on the left hand side there. So we're at centi and we want to go to deck all grams. 
So we start on the letter C. We'd have to take one, two, three steps to the left to get to deck O. So we take the imaginary decimal point that's behind the three and we slide it three spots to the left, point zero, eight, three. Do a couple more. If you're at kilometers, kilometers, and you wanna get to decimeters, little d, we wanna go from k to little d. One, two, three, four spaces to the right. So in my head, I have to slide that decimal over four spaces. So right now I've moved it over two, I have to move it over two more. But just in my head, I'm not gonna actually draw that decimal in because we wanna keep sig figs the same. If we are going from kiloliters to milliliters, we're on the K and we want to get to the M. So one, two, three, four, five, six steps to the right, 6,800. Last example here, if we're at centimeters and we want to get to kilometers, we start on the C, we want to get to the K. One, two, three, four, five to the left. So I have to take my decimal and slide it five spaces to the left. Pretty tiny number there. Now you hit the pause button, try those next five, and then come back and see if you get the right answers. If you've done these right, this top guy would be 123,000. This next one's tricky. A lot of people look at milliliters and centimeters cubed, and they think, oh, that means I have to slide my decimal over one spot to the left to get from the M to the C. But remember up above, we said right here that a cubic centimeter and a milliliter are actually the exact same thing. So if you have 453 milliliters, you have 453 cubic centimeters. They're identical. The place that you would move your decimal would be this guy when you're going from milliliters to just plain old liters with no prefix. We would have to go from milli to just plain old liters. So one, two, three, with no prefix, just the base unit. Three to the left, so three to the left. Those 200 millimeters are the same thing as 0.2 meters. Be careful, not 0 0.200. 0. We want to keep sig figs the same. This guy would be 1,670,000 centimeters. And this last one, 0 0.0006293 kilograms.